welcome back. We are back with another one of our little, with our little special reviews. Our little informal non RPG, non JRPG reviews. reviews. Russ picked today's game. I did. This and one is all him. Yay! I played it. I did not beat it. I got about maybe halfway. Yeah. So, so I picked Adventures of Lolo. Yay! I love, I love this game. Um, I rented it as a kid. I remember I was at my local video store trying to pick out something to rent and I saw a game box and it had this cute little blue blobby circle on it. The future Mrs. And I Russ. Thought, I thought this is exactly the game for me. Not the one with like the warrior fighting the demon or whatever. Yeah, like the but, little blue blob. But just a little blue blob. A little blue blob. So um Adventures of Lolo is made by Hal Labs, who also made the best game in the world. Arcana. Arcana, yeah. They and, also and made it, some little thing called Earthbound. Yeah, I I've never heard of that. No, uh, they help with the Smash Brothers. They did Kirby. Kirby. Which features Lolo and Princess mm -hmm. Lala. Yeah. Uh, they, As villains. They yes. become sinister in Kirby. Wild, mm -hmm. right? Uh, and then most famously of all, I think, is their ultimate Game Boy game, Gator Pinball. Yes. That is my favorite HAL Labs game. I actually have the original cart of Gator Pinball. Well, I will be playing that for the next seven hours. I believe so. it. So. Yes. So. They made all of these wonderful games, as well as Adventures of Lolo. So Adventures Didn't they of... make Daydream and Davy? Pro oh, I think, yeah, Maybe. We might, we might have to track that down. I don't we know did a I lot of amazing it. research before this. Um, Very informal. <laughs> so, so anyway, Adventures of Lolo is a fun um, like strategy puzzle game. You play as Lolo, who is just this little blue ball, and he is trying to rescue Princess Lala from the Egg King. You um, can tell a lot of time and effort went into these names. Yes, exactly. <laughs> Lolo and Lala. Princess Lala. Princess Lala. You don't want to forget her majesty. And title. the Egg King. Yeah. Um, and so you go through, in the first two, there are three games that I'm aware of. And in the first two games, it's just a 50, 50 room um, puzzle dungeon. In the first one, he kidnaps her and takes her to his castle. And you go through 50 puzzle rooms that involve evading monsters to open a treasure chest and get a little jewel and then open the door and then escape the room. But the caveat is that some of the monsters can instantly kill you if you cross their path. Yep. Um, Which is kind of startling. It's very it startling. And, and the thing that I remember most about the game, because I was a very little kid when I played this for the first time, it was scary. It was legitimately scary. Because there's these little Medusa monsters, and if you cross their path, they instantly kill you with, like, this zap of lightning. They're skeletons... The skeletons don't wake up <laughs> until you've opened the treasure chest, but they are... Um, relentless. Relentless. They chase you down. They're very terrifying. Them and the, the roly-poly monster? Yes. Yeah. Who just, like, he doesn't kill you. Yeah. He just comes up to you and then becomes an immovable object. Right. And then, even more than that, is the... What's, his, what's he called? The wall? He's just a little guy, and he's like a little wall golem thing, and he just walks toward you until he pins you down. Yep. And then he suffocates you. <laughs> he smushes you then against you the wall. You, you just have to kill yourself at that point. So, so each room is um, kind of told in two stages. First, there's opening the treasure chest, and most of the monsters are, like, asleep or docile or silent during that portion. Then once you open the treasure chest, everybody like the skeletons come alive and try to kill you before you can get out the door. You. Exactly before you can get out the door. Uh, one of the things I did like about the game is you have plenty of time to strategize. So when mm -hmm. you start a level, you see the entire level, nothing happens, nothing moves, nothing's active until you hit a button. So you've got time to sit there and go, okay, that guy goes like this. That guy goes there. I need to get that item, that item. You have time to right. come up with your plan mm -hmm. all the time you need, which is good for a game like this. Because as you go each level to level, they become increasingly more complex. And this game is pretty unforgiving. Very. Because mm -hmm. what's 
I think one of the issues is it's broken up into blocks. It's a grid, basically, and the whole thing is squares, except Lolo can actually move half a block at a time. So you can frequently get yourself in a situation where you move, you're pushing a block and you move it half a block right. too far. Yes. That's it. That room's done. You have to start over. And then you just have to press select, which I hate because it actually gives you the animation of Lolo just killing himself. Yeah. Guess what? <laughs> you push that block half an inch too far, use one of your lights. Mm-hmm. Uh, there, And like I said, I only got about halfway done, and there was no wiggle room. There was no forgiveness to be had. There yeah. was no mercy. You get this exactly right, or you fail. Mm-hmm. You do fail. But Lolo does have one ability at his disposal, which is firing little beams that turn the monsters into eggs. And, and then, that is his one form of defense. Kick the egg. And you can kick the but egg. But you don't always have that ability. You have to pick that ability up right. fresh on each floor if it's even there. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Not every floor has that ability. Mm-hmm. And then you have limited shots. So you have to use each shot exactly right. There's ones where you turn the enemy into an egg, you push them into the water, and then you ride them like a surfboard. Yeah. Um, but the egg will sink eventually. Yeah. So you and have to make sure that it. you get off the egg. At the so, right time. It's a very complex puzzle game. So, did you enjoy it? I did, did actually. Did you enjoy what you played of it? Uh, I did. I I like I like solving puzzles. It's kind of one of the things I liked about A Boy and His Blob mm-hmm. was the puzzle aspect. Yeah. Uh, so in that respect, this is a little similar in terms of the, the mental process involved. It's a good, it's a good brain training game because brain training is so in right now. Everybody's training their brain. Why aren't you? All right, so um, that's all we've got. Yeah, I think that's um, it. I would recommend that you all play the Adventures of Lolo. If logical games is your way to go, this is for you. More power to you. Now we actually have no idea what we're playing next for this series. No, true. This is this is off the cuff. So. Uh, I guess we'll find out next time. It's going to be the Sailor Moon RPG. That's, next time, that's question Jeff's mark. Favorite joke. I, I think I'm gonna snap his neck here in a minute. So uh, we'll see you guys next time. See ya.